Uh, so, Odi, thanks for joining me here. Um, it's been quite an exciting week for you, um, even now that you are joining the organisation Vault of Sport to be a, a kind of mentor to young female athletes. Can you explain a bit more about that role? Uh, no, I'm really excited about it because I, um, I know growing up as a young female footballer, I didn't have many mentors to, you know, that would just like help me with my journey. So this organization was, uh, was created by, um, by a female who was working at uh, Nike at the time. And she saw the, the lack of uh, diversity and the, the inequality in the industry. And so she decided to create something of her own and just to create her own table and invite other female sports people on the table that would um, in different different um, areas. And uh, they approached me and um, asked if I would be interested in um, being part of the mentorship organization, which uh, we look to, um, to just walk alongside young female athletes and just share with them our journey and hear about their journey. And also just give them advice on different aspects of our games that are either from recovery to nutrition to training the things that has worked well for us and um, just give them advice on how they can uh, improve their game or how they can you know improve their sleeping just anything every single thing that falls under being a professional footballer that they want to know about that they want to improve on and we are just I'm just going to be there um, to uh, to just help any young female footballer that want that wants that that uh, yeah that's such a thing yeah and it's an organization that's actually quite similar to Glasgow City it's it's for kind of women and, and young girls developing I guess that must be quite a big important thing for you despite the growth of kind of coverage and you know f female athletes coming through whatever the sport there's still a lot of work that needs to be done no no definitely and uh and I believe the best way that the female game can grow is just for us female female people uh, from right across every industry to just to take out to take responsibility for the for the growth of our own game and to stop leaving it to 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 other organizations to uh to to, to even the men to to do what it. it's it's ours so we need to take ownership and um and take part in helping in helping the game grow in helping the younger generation uh grow so so that is the main point of it really yeah, and I guess you, know, you may well have had all there, but there's so many, maybe the senior players in the, I think of the Glasgow City squad that didn't really have a female football in or athletic role model, perhaps. Um, did you kind of have someone growing up playing football? No, I didn't. I, I Growing up, I didn't uh, necessarily have that person who was who was playing professionally that I was looking up to that I would maybe now and then message and be like hey I'm struggling with my sleeping um what can I do to improve that what do you do to help or, or I'm struggling with like with nutrition what are some of the things that I can do to you know to help me because uh so like so I didn't have that so I just want to be that person that I, you know that I didn't have you know growing up I want I want to be that person for for any young female footballer that's out there that wants such a person in their lives yeah absolutely and uh, as I touched on Glasgow City you probably don't know the chance yet because of the restrictions and so forth but I guess you know we are looking forward to the day that when you're at a training session at a training uh, kind of complex that you'll hopefully see a sea of young Glasgow City players because we've got over 150 of them. It would mm. be great um, one day you'd love to kind of see what they're doing on the pitch because at the moment, obviously, we can't do that. Yes. No, no, that would be great. I think, you know, that's one of the things that I really admire about Glasgow City is, is an organisation that is mostly run by women, uh, for women. And, uh, you know, just to see the amount of female young players that, you know, that the club has under, you know, that like just ranges in different age groups. It's it's absolutely amazing. Um, there's very very few uh, organizations such like this in in the world in general for female footballers. So just finally, then, if anyone can always get involved with what the work you're doing, how do people get in touch and how do they approach? Well, it's it's it's, it's very easy actually. Um, you can just go on the Voice in Sport website. You can sign up as a member, and then uh, I will be. Uh, well, there are different there are different athletes on the website that that uh, put out sessions 
different professional athletes that put out sessions right from different sports, from basketball to volleyball, all playing in the highest level. Um, and they all put out sessions. So, so if you or if you want to be mentored by someone outside the sport, that's also possible. Um, but there's also a, a soccer session of female soccer players. So, um, or if you want to particularly be be, be mentored by me, um, I I will be putting out uh, sessions on the website. Uh, you can either search for my name or you'll find me on them, and you can uh, you can request to to join that session. They are either group sessions or they are individual individual sessions. I am more interested in individual one-on-one -on -one, uh, because I feel like um, I can, I can, I'll be able to help a player a lot more with that. But it is, I am also open to do group sessions. So if a group of your friends, a group of uh, playing friends that you have, that you're interested in doing it together, that is also possible. Um, fingers crossed you see our young players and good luck with the players you'll be mentoring. With. Thank you.